Hello, I'm John Bell. I'm the Managing Director of uh, Ogilvy's 360 Digital Influence Team, which is our global social media and word of mouth marketing practice. And I'm actually uh, here with my uh, friend and colleague, Pete Blackshaw, who is the EVP at Nielsen of uh, Digital Strategic Services. And we're actually here to talk about this idea of how to socialize the enterprise. So thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. You bet. I'm excited. And I really enjoyed your uh, reading the book. And uh, the first thing I wanted to ask you uh -huh. is, why the title? Um, when I look at a term like socialize the enterprise, it's both descriptive, it's also a verb. Is it a call to action? What were you thinking? Yeah. No, it's interesting. You know, what, what's happening is it actually is a call to action to a lot of the big, bigger brand and emerging brand clients that we're working with now. We've been, uh, like you, uh, working in social media from our side, more from the marketing and communication side for the past few years. But what's happened is that's evolved and grown and we've seen how our um, clients need to change how they're doing things internally across the enterprise, not just in their marketing and not just in their communications function. And um, basically finding a way that uh, to use social media to actually transform, uh, if nothing else, how they interact with their customers, but quite frankly, how they interact with their employees and a whole lot more. And just to make sure we're clear on terms, when you use the word enterprise, should we think of that as kind of uh, synonymous with holistic, with, you know, all the parts in the yeah. mix as opposed to, you know, socializing the silo? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It actually, that's a great, that's a great alternate term, that it is not socializing the silo, it is about working across the different disciplines. And one thing that we found um, uh, is that as brands get a better, more and more uh, experience uh, with social media in one uh, discipline or another, either communications or marketing function, they suddenly start to see how it's calling uh, them to change how they work internally. We see a lot of um, interesting things happen, like uh, the center of excellence phenomena. A lot of our clients, uh, Intel does this uh, in its own way, American Express does this, uh, Unilever, in a, again, in a slightly different way does this, <clears throat> where they form a federation of people across the business, across the enterprise, um, who are all hand raisers in social media, who all have a stake in using it to move their business mm -hmm. along because they're a brand marketer or because they work in PR or because they're in customer service or product development. And they form a, a federation to kind of help understand best practices for how to use social media internally and externally to uh, in, uh, come up with the uh, benchmarks for uh, how are they going to evaluate <laughs> the success of what they're doing. And then they share them back. I mean, they still all report to their various units, but there's this interesting cross-discipline federation that's coming together. We always hear the kind of um, the lingo about empower my employees to become mm -hmm. brand ambassadors. And when you, you know, if you can set aside, you know, any kind of cynicism even about that, uh, about how it's phrased, I mean, it's a great desire to have. And um, I see some companies doing it, but, but, but then the actual implementation of it becomes really hard. So I think a best case, um, uh, example or, or a, a, a client actually that comes to mind is IBM. Yeah. You know, I think that they've really, they walk the walk. They, um, if you, if you, there's a great interview I saw with John. Uh, a well, while they have now. hundreds and hundreds of bloggers. Well, they have hundreds and hundreds of like bloggers, but it, but it was actually hearing John Awada talk about, yes, we want all these folks to do it, but you know, inherently, they're not necessarily all ready to do it or yeah. all good at it. And our job is to help them be good at it and train them and, uh, give them guardrails and whatever, empower them in, in a way, but we can't just, it's not as simple as saying, you know, let's just have everybody in the company be a, you know, an accidental spokesperson. Although you could start with the hand raisers, presuming yep. that the hand raisers have a bit more experience. I think that's the way it worked with Best Buy with Twelfth Force. <clears throat> right. Um, now, of course, they expected a couple hundred. They had um, 2,600, you know, raise their hands, but they did it within a structure of um, do's and don'ts, mm -hmm. and so far it seems to be working pretty well. Now, they also had the benefit of having had a few other experiments underway, like right. Blue Shirt Nation, where there's some discipline in the system around internal collaboration. In fact, I would say that's one of your best examples of mm -hmm. internal enterprise social media, but it probably better positioned them to do a more daring um, you know, tests like, you know, 12 force, which I do think is relative to most companies quite radical by its very nature. 